Don't even think about trying to avoid swiping your cafeteria card at Bowdoin College. It appears the small liberal arts college in Brunswick, Maine, has been having a hard time stopping students from sneaking into the Thorn Dining Hall without paying for their meals. Well, like a scene from Revenge of the Nerds, when the tri led by UL Washington come to the rescue of the nerds, the Bowdoin football team will begin to provide security at the checkout line in the cafeteria. Now, Director of Dining Services Mary Lou Kennedy said, quote, just the size of the guys at the door, I think that students will listen to them, end quote. Now, I'm not sure how big Bowdoin football players are, but has Bowdoin lost their mind? Couldn't football players be more useful in, let's say, class or maybe groundskeeping? The school is just asking for a confrontation between an English major in a black mock turtleneck and a 109-pound offensive lineman. Now, the SEC has strict conference rules prohibiting artificial noisemakers at stadiums, but enforcement has now been taken to a new level. South Carolina routinely plays a recording of a rooster crowing during timeouts, after scores, before and after games, and at halftime. But apparently the Gamecocks have been taking the crows a bit too far, playing the rooster sound before critical third downs and at other times during the game. Those additional times have now been nixed by the conference. You know what I say? I say let the rooster cock-a-doodle do whenever he wants. If the conference allows it at some times, then they should allow it at all times. And frankly, South Carolina football can use all the help it can get this season.